Good evening and welcome to the quarterfinals. Everyone in chat is getting hyped for the playoffs. Two of our contestants will continue. Two of them, unfortunately, this will be their last slice of the season. But uh, before we talk about all the nitty gritty, let's uh, meet our contestants. My name is Jesse Mostapak, and I am a data science evangelist at our studio. My name is Julia Silgi. I'm a data scientist and software engineer at um, our studio. Josh Polkampart, data scientist, Boston Bruins. My name is Ethan Douglas, and I'm a data analyst at The Athletic. Meg, uh, what is uh, what is our data set tonight? Yeah, so our data set is really sweet tonight. It is a data set about shelter animals, as in animals at a shelter that are up for adoption. And our contestants tonight will be predicting the outcome of each animal that's in this animal shelter. So whether it was adopted, transfer, or no outcome. Um, so what is interesting about that is that this is the first data set and the first challenge of Sliced where we have a multi-class classification problem that our contestants are up against. And hopefully it's been something that they've been practicing, although it hasn't shown up until week 10. So the first golden feature is to use uh, the animal color as a palette in a plot. The second golden feature is to do some kind of like adoption rate seasonality plot. So looking at the rate of adoption and how that changes um, over time. It is nice o'clock we do see all of our contestants right now uh beginning to code we are on jesse's screen right now jesse looks like she's actually setting up a lot of control over uh her her gui right now her her ui uh we see that she does have like some descriptive plots here but uh, i wonder if jesse really is gonna like dive super hard into the modeling right like right from the start oh god here we go with another we, jesse oh wow <laughs> yes <laughs> Oh my she, god. <laughs> she would like to let you know she she's not a cat. I'm here live. That's not I'm not a cat. Right now we're looking at Josh's screen. Uh and Josh has this like pretty methodical early style uh yeah. where he really just munges data and he doesn't necessarily get going until I don't know, 75% of the way through the competition. I feel like I really see all that data visualization and modeling stuff happen like uh after 10, after 10:30. It's nice kind of like seeing our contestants like week to week cuz we get a little bit more comfortable with what their styles are cuz I do remember that made us, you know, a little nervous in like those early episodes, like, oh God, um, you know, when are we going to see some data viz? When are we going to see some modeling? Um, but, you know, Josh knocked it out of the park when it came to uh, data visualization, excuse me. Let's take a look at Jessie again. Again, she's, um, she's really <laughs> going at it with the memes tonight. I thought it was Tuple. It's Tuple? It, it, it's Tuple. It's tu It's Tuple. Change my mind. Change my <laughs> mind. Here we are with Ethan. Uh, Ethan is one of two Python coders left in the competition. Oh, damn. We have just have two of eight contestants are Python? That is right. Two of eight wow. contestants are Python. Here we are with Julia. Julia is, uh, looks like she's faceted uh, the animal with gender, and then she's doing histogram. Yep. So definitely mostly cats, dogs. Apparently there's a little bit of livestock birds, um, and then the bats, etc., are in other, I suppose. Looking at Ethan's screen, and it looks like Ethan is working with Cat Boost tonight, so I know there was a debate between whether he was going to try XG Boost or if he was going to go with Cat Boost tonight, and it looks like it is Cat Boost. He's How so much do you think that was influenced by the data set, the challenge? Oh. <laughs> Because we're working with cats in the data set? Yeah, no, that's a that's a great question. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go with 100%. You know? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. You know, now when we do the show, now that we have Tony doing the great YouTube cuts, I'm like picturing him doing like an actual like, like sound effect <laughs> for us. That's right. Uh, we're checking out Julia's screen here, and it looks like she also put together some uh, modeling and feature engineering for a model here. And it'll be interesting to see how people will deal with like the mostly categorical features, because there's a ton of ways to feature engineer. So it will be quite the challenge, I think, to, to be able to come up with pretty clean or pretty high signal features in order to predict uh, outcome here tonight. Uh, over here on Josh's screen, uh, Josh was working uh, with text cleaning class we saw uh, and it looks like he's still working on some text cleaning it looks like he's trying to go through that breed column mm -hmm. and rip as much of the breed information out as possible yeah a little bit of a comfort in 
Reg working with regex and things like that. Do you call, should you call it regex or do you call it regex? I guess I just said regex. Yeah, is regex. It, regex. Is it regex what or is it regex? It's not regular expression. See, <laughs> see, and that's why it's not Matt's plot lib because it's matrices <laughs> laboratory. Therefore, it's mate plot lib. Ethan has a horizontal bar chart. In this case, it is uh, feature importance. And so we are seeing, at least uh, from Ethan's side, age being the most important, being spayed, being spayed or neutered, being second most important. And it does Bob look Barker's like- Bob Barker's right. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. It does look like there's something to do with breed here. I do wonder if that's overfitting or if he actually Ooh. did some uh, feature engineering. From how it looks yeah. like in his um, output here, it doesn't look like he's really done any uh, feature engineering. Submit my bag tree. Does this mean she actually submitted? Oh my landa. Here we are with uh, not just Julia, Jessie. but also Jesse has submitted. And we have a dog fight here. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Here's a picture of Josh's dog, his new dog, go. by the way. There we go. Um, do, do you know if uh, Josh adopted or not? Oh, f I forgot. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> Forgot to ask. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I really shouldn't swear. Who is offended? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me in chat if you're gonna cancel me for saying <laughs> Let's go over to Julia who has... What is this? What am I looking at? This is prediction versus age in days? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> X is. I don't know. IDK. It doesn't look like he's done so much in terms of modeling. He is really trying to set up all of his data. Remember, this reminds me of my favorite quote, which is most likely misattributed because most famous quotes are misattributed, uh, is by Abraham Lincoln. If I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend four sharpening my ax. Do all the stuff that you need to do up front. I'm sorry, I just gasped because I see that Josh looks like he's about to plot adoption rate by day of week, so. Just, is he? Day of week adoption? Oh my god, he is. That's how, a golden how did, feature. How did he, he, uh... I didn't think anyone was going to find this. Here's Julia with using color uh, in a log odds format here. So yeah, I think this is a package she developed if I, uh, this... I'm not mistaken. The tidy low package. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Someone she... will correct me if that's wrong. <laughs> she, and this is literally her importing tidy low and using it to her advantage. Remember, this is to completely fair game. It's public out there. Anyone can use oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I see the hump day and we're like bumped off it. <laughs> <laughs> that is, Sorry. That, that is some evil. That's terrible. This is oh, some oh evil. That is some that evil, is evil from Josh Polecamp Hart. Reading off of Julia's notes here, she is doing some oh, documentation breathe. along the way. Who knows what happens to bats, raccoons, and opossums? Cats and pigs. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and you love to you love to see making some time for some markdown, making some time for Doc. Uh, wild things going over on Ethan's screen. It looks like he's getting a uh, fit error, or at least a fit warning. Uh, this is from Seaborn. I wouldn't be surprised if this crashed his kernel. Oh, here we go with uh, adoption rate by animal. I, I don't know why dog uh, is bitch. is uh, not there. Yeah, but skunk, rabbit-ish, rabbit, rabbit-ish. Rabbit? -ish. rabbit? <laughs> that same plot sorted with uh, a little like cotton candy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think Jessie might be uh, finding her way through DataViz <laughs> and perhaps finding her way uh, towards the end of Slice tonight. Here we are with a plot based off uh, what looks to be color and breed. Yeah, so I oh, think no, we're looking name at, and breed. at name. name and we're breed. We're looking at name. So she's, I think, looking at what is the most distinctive name per animal type. So we've got Tucker for bird, <laughs> X for cat, uh, Tyson for dog, and Rosie for bats, bats. et cetera. Bats. <laughs> A, a wild, oh Whoa, a wild what? word plot from Jesse here. Intense. Uh, I believe she is trying to figure out what shape of this. This is a name word cloud. So, while uh, Julia went with the more uh, data-driven approach, we're seeing the uh, artistic approach. Still data-driven. Count would be the size of the names. <laughs> I love how it renders, like, yeah. one minute left. Uh, less, uh, that's it on my screen. I'm seeing, uh, 
Yes, I, okay. I see so, time. Contestants know they should uh, stop coding, throw their keyboards on the ground. I'm going to kick this off starting now. Start voting for your favorite contestants. Oh, oh my God, it's a tie. <laughs> oh my God, it is a tie. Didn't we run another poll? Is that what we did? Did we run another poll? So who wins the chat vote runoff? <laughs> Um, so who gets five points? Who gets ten points? This is tense. Oh my god, it can't tie again. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep voting, keep voting. We can't leave it like this. We cannot leave it like this. No. Chat <laughs> just wants to do it! No! Chat just wants no, no, chaos! No. Don't do this! Chat to just us. wants chaos! No, this is absolute chaos. Um, chat just wants um, chaos! Oh my god! Chat is voting for chaos. No, 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 no! Oh! oh. By one oh my vote. god. Oh my god. I believe we just had one contestant discover a golden feature tonight, which was Ethan. Kudos, Ethan, for discovering 10 golden features. Or 10 points. A 10 point golden feature. Three, two, one, Josh. Why six, Meg? I just really love like seeing his process of iterating on his plots because they really always end up in a super high quality kind of like end result. Um, that is something that's like actually really insightful. Three, two, one, Ethan. Why five, Meg? I really thought just sort of like the volume of insights through Ethan's plots were really great. Um, so not only the plot that earned him the golden feature, that was the adoption rate seasonality plot. He kind of like really just covered a lot of insights in the data itself. Like I think Nick, you would say he let the data breathe through his visualizations. Three, two, one, Julia. I gave Julia seven, you gave Julia seven as well. Why seven? Julia ended up really, I think, wowing us with uh, those tidy log odds. And she also did, you know, on top of that, she did do some, you know, um, just typical like modeling visualization as well as like some, some EDA, so. Three, two, one, Jesse. Why four, Nick? I think we are at a level of the competition where we want to see insights. And I think that's what the other contestants kind of brought to tonight's episode was a lot of like insight extraction, especially compared to honestly, her performance in past episodes too, is a lot more kind of like a little bit of like a box ticking. This is extremely close. Uh, remember the lowest log loss score is the best. Um, and we'll start with Josh. Josh's multi-class log loss value, his model metric is 0.6. 707. Seven. Ethan Douglas has a score of 0 0.42. Julia Silgi has a score of 0 0.52. Jesse Mostapek, you have a score of 0 0.5. No. Oh my god. 8. 0 0.58. That means Julia Silgi. Ethan, Douglas, you both are moving into the semifinals. Uh, it is the end of the road for Jesse Mossepec and Josh Polkamp Hart. Uh, the scores tonight, Ethan, 48 points. Julia, 29 points. Jesse, 21 points. And Josh, 12 points. Ethan Douglas, Landon Buchner, Julia Silgi, David D. Rob Robinson. This is going to be... Hell yeah. An absolute wild one next week, Meg. Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm ready. I'm ready. Next week's semifinals. Um, Thanks to our supporters, our studio, Streamlit, NVIDIA, and Z by HP. Uh, have a good night, y'all. I'll see you over in Sympathy's stream. Yeah.